Writing the mail, MS sex games from Japan. Collecting without fail those shoot 'em ups, and that's the plan. He doesn't just collect them, he also codes them too. Join us and we'll go on electric adventures with you. Hey YouTube, Electric Adventures here with a little pick up and play video. Um, I, uh, you know, have one of those uh, reminder search things on eBay looking for specific things. Uh, in this case, it was uh, for any Coleco titles. Now, I don't have, um, I mean, I've got, I've got a fairly reasonable collection of the original Coleco games, um, but there's a couple that I've both um, never seen copies of or never even played, and this pickup includes one of them. So, it's only loose cartridges. Um, I'm not being too fussy about collecting them in box. If I can get them in box, it's nice. Um, but this one, I've never seen a copy of it available for sale over here in Australia. Um, and it is, and I've actually never played it before either. So, Root Beer Tapper. And the cartridge is in really good condition. So, probably what I'll do is I'll get uh, one of the printed game cases, like some of my other titles. Um, especially since the cartridge is in such good condition. Um, and it's a version of the arcade game Root Beer Tapper, and it's supposed to be um, a very, very decent version of the game. So I'm actually looking forward to playing it. You can see it's a proper original Coleco one with overlay things. And with it is another game that's not actually that common itself. Um, complete copies are really hard to come by, and loose copies, it does they do tend to have label problems, and this one has label problems. Well, they're very... It's not as bad as actually my original copy, that I, loose copy that I put up with for ages until I got a complete copy, and it's a copy of Tutankham, which is actually one of the uh, one of my most favourite games on the ColecoVision back in the day. I owned a copy of Tutankham, and I played it to death. Really, really love it because I love the arcade game as well. So, an, uh, a wonderful bonus. But as I said, I don't need it because I do actually have now a complete copy. It took me a long time, but I did find a complete copy. So this one is available um, for sale or trade if anybody's interested in that because there still are some other Coleco titles from Master and all sorts of things. You know, I'm, I'm missing the items from the Master System collection. There are still some collections that um, uh, I'm, you know, slowly progressing titles on. Not too fussed about, um, uh, you know, getting mounds of stuff anymore nowadays though. Alright, so two games. Um, I probably haven't done a gameplay of Tutankhamun for a while, so we'll do a gameplay about them as well. But main focus, let's go play uh, Root Beer Tapper together. Right, so here we go with Root Beer Tapper. I have not played this at all, ever. So, <laughs> we better start with skill level one. And don't expect me to be very good. Might have to have a couple goes. Which I have to get rid of the screen. So, there's my dude. Okay, chuck a beer down. Right, so when you chuck a beer down, off they go. Right. Right. It looks pretty good. Okay, it's still thirsty. Switch lanes, either. Well, oh, was I too slow? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I can see how this could get pretty fun. Oh, I 
see if I've got to get the one that wasn't shaken. Yeah, I was going for ones that were. Okay, I understand. Quite good that it's got intermission scenes. Okay. Oh no. Ah, I went the wrong way. I can see why this game's quite well um, thought after. Lots thirsty, aren't they? Ah, too slow. So you get plenty of lives on the easy one. Thirsty customers. I said at least it gives you lots of lives. I was actually expecting to be rather game over by now. <laughs> Press the button, it takes you back to the line to serve a beer. So that makes a lot of difference. Oh, 
Oh shoot. Too many. And it doesn't matter which button you use. Ah! So hard to watch all the lines! Last last. But it is very well done and how good how good the um, the uh, definitions of the customers are. Oh, I see. They watch the dancing girls. They definitely come in at different rates, don't they? Dancing girls came out, turned around just as I threw that last one. Oh, I must have got an extra life. Well, I'm actually. Oh. Well, I'm actually really enjoying this game. Um, this is probably going to stay in the clicker for a while, but we better take it out so I can have a quick go of Toot and Come. I haven't played that for a little while. It'd be good fun. Right, here we go of Toot and Come. Um, doesn't have very exciting um, title screen, I'm afraid. Just has select one to six which is uh, one, two, and three levels for one player, and uh, four, five, and six is the same thing, but for two players. We'll go level two, because I have played this a fair bit before. Will mean I'll probably die fairly early. So you get your opening music. Right, the idea with this game is to try and not get pinned down too much. And as you can see, it actually does, you know, scrolling in the game, it's a little jerky, but it gets the uh, game mechanics done. So you go through, you collect the bonuses. It is quite nice. Um, oh no! Oh, that was lucky. Now it does have different character sprites in the original game, which is probably the most jarring difference from the arcade game. But it has all the sound effects, the um, in-between stuff. Just um, really aggressively coming out of that. That's me. And you use these portals to jump through different parts of the maze. The first thing you'll do is find a key. You can only carry one key at once. Go to the portal, you've got to sort of look where you're going. Ooh, I almost died then. 
press both buttons at once and that gives you the smart bomb flash. And this is very well written and the one hard bit about this game is once you get through a certain way, you've got to go back. I'll just realise I've, I've open. Oops. I'm talking and not concentrating. I actually need to go back and get the other key now. That does give you some outs here. So we go over here. So, so the scrolling little jerky. Oh, do I actually have the key? I'm now confused. Look at that treasure. Oh. Um, I think it varies the difficulty with the number of keys you've got to get. Right, so now level three, starting to get really hard. Now we will say. The um, this version, the Coleco version, the uh, enemies are not as aggressive as the arcade game. So that's where the second key normally is. Alright, so at this level of difficulty, ah, damn it, we um, we don't have to go back and get the keys on this first level. Careful not to hold one fire button down and then try and shoot the other direction. And the important thing of um, stopping yourself moving by running into a horizontal wall, otherwise, you, your guy keeps on moving. So there's three levels and we have four flip. So I said, oh, damn it, they're fast, okay. Um, so, unlike you know, the other early arcade ports for the Coleco that were missing screens. This one actually has all of them. Now they are, to be fair, not the same layouts as the actual arcade though. But they make a very playable version of the game. And at the end of the day, that's what you want. You also Continue from where Asian sits a very long way away along here. I'm doing the last life, huh? I'm not going to muck around. I want to show you the, the end. Once again, we've only got one key. Oh, damn it! Oh, we're still going. Past that tricky stuff. Now think of that if you have to go back and get another key. There we go, we have made it to Tutankhamun. Not too bad effort for talking and starting on level two. So we should have to get two keys this time. Let's see how we go. And you can only carry one at once. Oh, right, see, there we go. We have one key and there's the second key. See, two locks. So, after getting one, I need to go back up without getting killed and 
fight my way back through. Get the key. Ah, oh, whoops. Game over. Well, you get the idea. And it's a great fun game and definitely worth seeking out on the Coleco. Copies are not that common, though. Um, took me ages to find my first original loose copy, but I have seen the occasional loose copy. And I have a loose copy here, so trade with me. Find another game that I don't have. Doesn't matter if it's not for Coleco. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this pick up and play um, episode. I'm Electric Adventures. Thanks to all my subscribers. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.